This week in Minneapolis, the Minnesota Obesity Center officially opened. Its goals? To find ways to identify behaviors that lead to obesity. Also, it's a good place to meet fat chicks. <laughs> John Goodman has announced that he will not be returning to Roseanne next year. So how will the show get rid of him on screen? Well, insiders now say that over the last few episodes of the season, Roseanne will gradually eat him. <laughs> At an emotional press conference this week, a now exonerated Richard Jewell spoke about his ordeal as the chief suspect in the Olympic Park bombing. Quote, I couldn't think straight, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat, he said. Then later he admitted, all right, I could eat. I, uh... <laughs> I couldn't sleep, though. I had trouble. <laughs> Last week, Duchess of York Sarah Ferguson visited the Big Apple and showed off her 14-pound weight loss. Hopefully, this will not interfere with her official duties of sitting on her fat ass all day long. <laughs> And in California, Christian Brando was released from state prison Monday after serving nearly five years for killing his sister's boyfriend. Meanwhile, his father, Marlon Brando, ate nine pizzas. <laughs> Former Wilson Phillips member Carney Wilson's new talk show kicked off this month. According to Carney, her show will be different from the others in that guests will be treated with respect and dignity. And then she will eat them. <laughs> Postal authorities removed a cigarette from a photo of blues artist Robert Johnson to help dignify the musician in a new stamp they've issued in his honor. This isn't the first time the post office has altered a photograph. In fact, the original photo used on the Elvis stamp was based on this photo. King enjoying a hoagie. According to a controversial new biography, Elizabeth Taylor likes her lovemaking loud, rough, and frequent. Coincidentally, that's also how she likes to eat. <laughs> well, television history will be made this week when film legend Elizabeth Taylor appears as herself on all four CBS Monday Night sitcoms. It's part of the network's new campaign, Must Eat TV. <laughs> she enjoys eating. Ted Kennedy says now that he's won re-election, he can finally relax, get off that crazy diet, and really let himself go. In what is considered a remarkably short period of time, the head of the Federal Advisory Board, Dr. Peter Melman, has given speedy approval to a controversial new anti-obesity drug. It should be noted, however, Dr. Melman's wife is a fat pig. <laughs> new medical research shows that men and women have different food cravings. Men preferring meat and women preferring sweets. Scientists trace this back to caveman days, when men had to go out and hunt for food while women sat on their fat asses eating chocolates. <laughs> In New Zealand, a convicted swindler who weighs 670 pounds has been sentenced to house arrest because he is too big for prison. According to prison officials, it took four inmates just to rape him. <laughs> Talk show host Ricky Lake has announced that she will finally publicly apologize for her role in a destructive anti-fur demonstration. Then she will eat a huge can of frosting. <laughs> in the new movie Mrs. Winterborn, talk show host Ricky Lake plays the part of a young mother-to-be. According to film's producers, Miss Lake was so serious about achieving a realistic pregnant look she forced herself to lose 30 pounds. <laughs> A story from the world of entertainment this week. 
Talk show host Ricky Lake had to get rid of her dog Dudley after the pooch became too aggressive with her seven-month-old son Milo. A clearly saddened Lake said, it broke my heart to get rid of that dog, but he was delicious. <laughs> She ate a whole dog. <laughs> In Virginia, police are looking for a stripper who stabbed a man for telling her she was too fat to strip. Police warn that the woman is armed and extremely fat. 